everyone. This is Miss Erin here at the Ballet Cottage teaching you a few things about ballet. If you're new to ballet um, or if you're a child and also new to ballet. So adults and children new to ballet. Um, I just did a video about the five positions of the feet and now I'm going to do a video about the positions of the arms. Now, arms are different for the different schools of ballet in the world. Um, my arms and the names for my arms comes from the Russian ballet school. So there are first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Um, but there are other names for these positions. So you might end up going to a class and the teacher will use um, different terminology. I'll try to fill it in a little bit. Um, I also know the Cicchetti way of naming the positions of the arms, so I'll try to give you a little bit of um, both of those, and then we will put it together to a little song at the end. So let's start. I'm going to back up a tiny little bit. Um, you don't need to see my feet in this, but I'll let you know that I am doing first position. So. Here we go. Yeah, let me stand a little closer. So I'm in first position with my feet so that I do have that lovely turnout coming all the way up and my tummy is in and my chest is held high. I've got lovely posture from which to move my arms. The first position is called Braba or it is called fifth position low, fifth position Amba in the Chiquetti world. Um, so let me take you through the, the Chiquetti a little bit. In Chiquetti we have cinquième, which is the French for fifth. So let's start using that. Cinquième, en bas, fifth in the low. Cinquième, au milieu, fifth in the middle. And cinquième, en haut, fifth up high. That's fifth position. Um, now, most ballet schools all, I would have to say, call this second position and it is a very common position and looks easy but it's not. In fact, I can see I'm not um, great at it. So the inside of your elbow should be facing the audience uh, and your palm without having the shoulder go up. It's a lovely, lovely lengthening position. Um, and I think it's lovely more in transition than just standing static like this, but um, it's used constantly second position. So that's second. Now in the um, Russian world that I'm going to do the dance to, we have braba, which means arm low. Um, this is first position in that world, as opposed to cinquième au milieu in the Chiquetti world. Then this is second in both. And then you bring your arm in, just one arm in, to where it was in first position, and this is called third low. This, if you take it up high, is third high. And then if you bring the other arm in to where it was in first position, this is called fourth position. And then two arms up together is fifth. To come back to Braba, where we will start again, you're gonna open your arms, come through second, all the way to Braba. And then you do it with the other side. So it goes first, second, this arm in, this arm high, this is third high, this arm in, now we're in fourth, fifth, open, and close. So let's do that with a little piece of music um, that I use to teach my children the positions of the arms. Here we go. Starting Braba. Good. First, with your arms round. Second, open them wide. Third is a sweet one. Take it up high. Fourth is a Spanish girl making her eye. And fifth is a ballerina reaching Very nice. It's so fun to teach that step to um, little children because they don't quite know how to wink. 
And so it's always a really, <laughs> a really funny step. Um, so I hope that helps you with your five positions of the arms. Please subscribe to my channel. And the next video that I'm going to put up is combining the five positions of the feet with the five positions of the arms.